Yes, well, we have had a rather marvellous day, haven't we? And it's been a very exciting day too. Father's Day. Oh, it's been a marvellous day. Oh, it's the Poppets. Hello, my little Poppets, mums and dads. And welcome back to Storytime once again. Well, I've had a very busy day here today. It's a very full house, as you can see. I've got Skellywag Maxwell here, Stinky, and of course, Delightful Bo here as well. And what an exciting day it has been today because, of course, it's Father's Day. So I think we should kick story time off with wishing all the dads out there a very, very happy Father's Day. A very happy Father's Day, and is there something, Maxwell, that you'd like to say to your dad? Happy Father's Day, Dada. Oh, that's lovely. So Maxwell is wishing his dad a very happy Father's Day as well. And we've had lots of fun here today. And today's story also, my poppets, is a book request for Maxwell. Yes, I think he's grabbing it as well. And it's called Charlie Cook's Favourite Book. And even though we have had this one before, this is a book request for Maxwell. So this will be lovely reading this book again. So I'm quite looking forward to reading this one again, Maxwell. I think this will be a good one, I have to say. Well, I'm certainly very happy to have you here for story time again and to have it on Father's Day is a treat, I have to say, a very special treat indeed. And here we go, my dear poppets. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Charlie Cook who curled up in a cosy chair and read his favourite book. Well, there's Charlie Cook there, curled up in his favourite armchair there with his favourite book. And of course, it is wonderful to have a favourite book. And this, of course, is Maxwell's favourite book and that's why he wanted me to read it for story time today about a leaky pirate ship which very nearly sank and a pirate chief who got the blame and had to walk the plank. The chief swam to an island and went digging with his hook. At last he found a treasure chest and in it was a book. Well, there's the pirate there and all oh, those two are fighting already and he's found a treasure chest and inside was a book and he does have a lovely parrot there as well. And inside the pirate's chest, in the treasure chest, was a marvellous book. Yes, I think that's wonderful treasure to find a book. I most certainly do. About a girl called Goldilocks and three indignant bears who cried, Who's had our porridge? Who's been sitting on our chairs? They went into the bedroom and Baby Bear said, Look, and she's in my bed and what is more, she's got my favourite book. Oh, she's got his favourite book, Maxwell. Look at that. Oh, naughty, naughty poppet. Oh, those two are fighting already. Doesn't take long. They've got to, you've got to behave yourselves, you two, especially on Father's Day. You've got to be good. Yes, you've got to be good for dear old dad. Yes, and Goldilocks has got the favourite book, of course. She has. Yes, all oh, these pages, they're sticking together again. About Sir Percy Pillington, a bold and fearless knight, who had told the dragon, wait, I'm not quite ready for the fight. And then his armour clanked and shook, ho, ho, he, he, as he read aloud a joke he'd found inside his favourite book. Well, there's the knight there with the dragon, and of course he's reading his favourite book. Yes, Stinky, you're in a funny mood again today, like you quite often are. I think it's all this excitement for Father's Day, and of course, because we've got Maxwell here as well. About Rowena read a lot, a very well-read frog, who jumped upon a lily pad and jumped upon a log, then jumped into the library, which stood beside the brook, and went, read it, read it, read it, as she jumped upon a book. And there she is there, in the library, of course, with lots and lots of books. My most favourite place in the whole world, I have to say, of course, is a library. Yes, surrounded by all sorts of marvellous books. About an oak tree full of birds, each bird had built a nest, and they had a competition to decide which one was the best. They chose an owl to judge it, Maxwell. Look at the owl there. And the winner was a rook, whose nest was lined with pages from his very favourite book. Well, there's the owl there, 
and some other birds there in the tree with pages from a very favourite book. A tree full of wonderful birds. Imagine that, walking past a tree and seeing all those birds up there with pages from a book. About a girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky. Some small green men were in it and they waved as they flew by. She tugged her mother's sleeve and said, look mum what I've just seen. But mum said, hush, I'm trying to read my favourite magazine. And there's poor old mum there trying to get five minutes peace and she's reading her favourite magazine there in the cosy armchair of course. Yes, a magazine is good too. You can have a read of a magazine sometimes. It's good to read a magazine when you go to the hairdressers. About a wicked jewel thief who stole the king's best crown, but then got stuck behind some sheep which slowed his car right down. The king dialed 999 and soon the cops had caught the crook and flung him into prison where he read his favourite book. Oh dear, where he read his favourite book. Well, I suppose in prison, He's got all the time in the world so he can read his favourite book and he can read it over and over again if he wants to. Yes, that's right, Stinky. About a greedy crocodile who got fed up with fish and went on land to try to find some other kind of dish. He went into a bookshop and there he grew even greedier while reading on page 90 of a very large encyclopedia. Well, there he is there, the green fellow that he is with lots of sharp teeth, and he's reading an encyclopedia. Yes, learning lots of things there from the encyclopedia. Do you like the library, Maxwell? I have been, I think, once. Once? Oh, I'm sure you've been more than once. About the biggest birthday cake the world had ever seen, a team of royal cake makers had made it for the Queen. The cake was so delicious that a famous spaceman took a slice of it to Jupiter. He also took a book. Well, there he is there wow. in space. Yes, with some cake and, of course, a marvellous book. There's a lot of books. In a there. lot of books. Yes, there most certainly is. Lots and lots of books. And I do like the look of that cake, I have to say. About a ghost who glided round a castle every night carrying her head and giving everyone a fright. She kept it up till morning, then she found a shady nook and put her head back on again to read her favourite book. Look at that, Maxwell. The ghost can take off her head, dear, and put it back on again. Would you like to be able to do that? You no. take your head off and then put it back on again. No. No, no, I actually, I don't think I'd like to do that either. But the ghost in the book can do it. Because she's a ghost. Because she's a ghost, that's right about a cosy armchair and a boy called, what's the boy called, Maxwell? Charlie. Charlie Cook, that's right. About a cosy armchair and a boy called Charlie Cook. How marvellous. And his wonderful armchair. The end. And that was called Charlie Cook's favourite book. And thank you, Maxwell, for this book request. I did enjoy uh, reading that again, I have to say. Well, Maxwell, you know what time it is, don't you? What time is it? Do you have any clue? Uh, lunch time? Lunch time! No, it's well past lunch time, but it is time to say goodbye to the Poppets once again. So, mums and dads, dear Poppets, of course, thank you so much for joining in for story time once again. Perhaps you could read a book about a boy called Charlie Cook, or perhaps you could draw a picture about Charlie Cook sitting in his wonderful cosy armchair. And as always, my dear Poppets, thank you for watching. Have a very happy Father's Day, and until next time, bye!